Deidre situation. Henderson, Cater, Gomez, they all okay to start? And with Henderson and Gomez, any concerns about them going on with England? Because the Indians have had an open Gomez is slight to <sighs> Yeah, but I think uh, well, it's uh, actually nothing to discuss in public. To be honest, <laughs> we have to we, we we see how we how we deal with that. Um, it's, it's it's different with the two boys, so it's uh, um, different things. And so, uh, if there's something to talk, and I talk to Gareth about it, I would say it's better than telling you and then uh, he has to read it or whatever. Um, we'll see. But uh, for the for the weekend, they are all um, available. How much then, particularly I suppose, over the last couple of games, have you missed maybe Jordan Henderson's influence with, within that midfield? Uh, the John is not uh, um, available anymore. We always miss him, but it's not um, uh, the last couple of games. Which one? Just thinking in midweek against Red Star and against Arsenal as well. I would love to say that Hendo would have changed the whole game, but um, I'm not really sure about it. We had uh, the performance. Um, Altogether, the whole game was, was kind of um, strange and not us, whatever. Um, so, and the, and the game before that was then Arsenal. Arsenal. Right. Yeah. Uh, that was actually an absolute okay game. We only have to admit that um, Arsenal and maybe a few people were surprised that Arsenal is a good football team and so they can cause you problems, we cause them problems. And we were 1 0 up, we had big chances, we didn't score, and so it was 1 1. That's all. Um, nothing to do with players in or out. It was just uh, like it was. And so, um, no, but it's good to have them back. It's in the f probably the first time. It's pretty much the first time that all midfield players, apart from Ox, uh, um, are then available. But that's then another. Um, Thing to do, making decisions, who starts with who, and stuff like that, and um, so that's then. But it's all about then fitness level, form, shape, whatever, um, and then we will see. Obviously, there was a lot of praise for Virgil's performance against Arsenal as well. Now, is he at the level where you would say he's the best centre back <laughs> in the Premier League? Would you even go broader than that? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not a real a guy who, who likes these. Um, <laughs> these comparisons, stuff like that, so I'm really, really happy with him, but um, Roach knows that, but, 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 um, with his skills and quality and stuff like that, there's always and a big responsibility as well, and that you have to be spot on on that level every day, that's what everybody expects, and uh, we're all human beings, so we have to. And, um, Wednesday was not the same, almost Tuesday was not the same game than, than the Saturday before, so that's how it is. We all, uh, we all struggle a bit uh, in the last game, and, and that's not too important. I don't make a big fuss of it. It's, uh, or uh, on the other hand, side, I don't celebrate performances after when we when we when I saw a good one for the next five, six days. It's just, it has quality, so that's good. And um, like Joe has, like. Um, Dejan has, and um, like Joel has, so that's, that's really good for us that we're in that position, obviously. Um, we don't have a lot of problems. Is this all about a reaction now, then, from Tuesday's match? Uh, yeah, for, from, a, from a personal, for us as a team perspective, I would say yes, but it's just not, um, it's a different competition, and so it's, it's all, it's, it's a... <laughs> And nobody expected that to honest, expected a result. The, the 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 kind of performance that it's possible for for Red Star. It's not um, Red Star is not a team like, and with all respect, but not like Maribor last year, for example. They it was clear they they, they brought three players back in. They had um, they had they have the atmosphere there. There were a lot of different things there, um, which were different to the game we played at home against them, and um, so. It, things like this can happen, you never like it. Uh, they happened in the past, they happened on Tuesday, and they will happen in the future. Um, not only to us, and that's why you never like it. But um, in general, the, 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 the shape is good the, 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 of, of, of the team. We played a lot of really good games, and I know still a lot of people, maybe we, we ourselves as well, compare 
the a a a, a Premier League game which we win compared then still with the with the best game of the last season. I'm not sure exactly which it was, but the very let me say at home against Rome until they started scoring their two goals or something like that. And you cannot compare this. So that's just not for, for, for we have to do it by ourselves. But um, first and foremost, that we have to do it by ourselves. But we have really to 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 admit for ourselves a lot of things are better than last year. Same time in no, early November or end of October, but um, the, 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 the spectacular football in, in each game didn't happen, but it didn't happen last year as well. So that's what the reason why we had, I don't know the exact number of points, but we could have had more, how we all knew. So, um, and we, 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 the boys looked much more mature and all that stuff, but not in the last game. But in the games before, that was absolutely okay. There were two games with a, where the performance dropped. That was um, now Red Star, which is the latest one. You always best. You always can remember that the best, of course. And and Naples. That's true. Both were in the Champions League. Both were away. We have to think about that before we play the next away game in the Champions League. In Couple of weeks, so um, and that's the situation. So um, it's it's all it's all good. Um, we can do better. That's always the case. Um, but we have to enjoy our football as well, exactly like we um, exactly the football we play in the moment because it was so far um, pretty successful. I know you're always expected to win at Anfield. That's, that's a little bit of a kind of get that. But rightly or wrongly, I think you probably expected by some to win well. This weekend, perhaps unfairly to fall, but they are bottom. They haven't kept a clean sheet. Give your goal difference as well, and how tight it is around. <laughs> like, are you, Whoa. you tell your boys? Does it like <laughs> oh, I would be really an idiot. If a few things people think I am, but um, not that much. Um, if I would talk about any goal difference before that game, so. I, I'm not sure if I can expect that, but it would help if you would watch a few Fulham games before you ask questions like this. I'm not sure how many games you watch over 90 minutes, and not only match of the day, summary stuff like that. Not a lot, probably. Um, that what happens to most of the people. Um, this is a really strange situation for Fulham. I can really imagine how they feel in the moment. It's like, okay, football is good. A lot of things are really good. They, they cost City. Problems in the FA Cup, uh, uh, World Cup, um, at least to the boss like it was really good football in a lot of moments. So you have to defend them. They are a really skilled team offensively and, and tuned and doing a lot of things. And then the end product, the final product, the finishing maybe was not so good um, often enough that season, but they scored goals. Uh, and then they conceded on the other hand side a lot, but uh, you never, never could score a goal against a team like Fulham with the quality of Fulham only because you uh, because you go in the game with the wrong attitude and think about scoring, 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 whatever. Big challenge, eh? really. This game is a big challenge, and for all of us, so um, we have to make sure that we really don't forget in what, in what kind of good situation we are, atmosphere-wise. Again, another challenge. Twelve o'clock. Eh? So for all the guys, the people coming. Um, People coming in the stadium go uh, in bed early on Saturday night. Uh, be in your best shape um, at at um, lunchtime on Sunday and um, yeah, help because it's if you if you go if somebody goes there and and, and expects an easy game, then please stay at home. Uh, then please stay at home because it will not be and uh, it will be a really tough thing. Uh, it's a tough job to do, and um, yeah, it's good that we, we we said it already that we have maybe want to show a reaction. Yeah, that would make sense, but the right reaction. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just wondering what, what the players have been like the last couple of days because you said that you know, I saw you at the press conference after the game. You said that no one expected that performance here. Andy Robertson also spoke by saying that. Um, win or lose, you always speak the day after a game because that's when. Um, you get the best out of them and where you can talk your thoughts through. So I was just wondering, that kind of pride in too much detail, what kind of meet, meeting that, that's been? More a general meeting? Uh, more, more about our situation in general? It's like a similar few things I said before here. Um, that's what we have to expect from ourselves and what we have to, uh, and how we have to. Um, um, See our situation. It's a, it's a very, it's a very positive. Situation. This, 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 um, the season so far is 
uh, point-wise, um, only the Premier League season, point-wise, really successful. But it doesn't feel really like that because uh, two, there are two reasons. Uh, we, uh, the comparison with last year, free-flowing football in a few games, and yeah, Man City and maybe Chelsea and a few others um, play a very good season as well. So that's not a surprise. For, should not be a surprise for us. So it is. It's like you know, always you see we struggle in Belgrade and they they win six 0 So even if it's not Premier League, it's this kind of big gap. And the the, the, the thing is, they they all that. Uh, it looks, it feels a bit like this season can only be a success in a moment. So from from the how I, how I feel it from all what the question I, I, I got asked after games and around games is like it's only a success if you if you become champion this year. And in a year, well, our competitors are let me say that the, the, the champion of last year, the champion of two years ago, and uh, a refreshed Arsenal and a more experienced Tottenham. They have struggled a lot personal. Lineup wise, and they have, have a similar number of points like we have, and Man United um, turning around and all that stuff. Um, that's that's a really tough job, and it's no problem. We have no problem with that. We go for everything. We go for everything. It's only just a little bit this this thing. Why we cannot? Why we, we have to build on on our situation. We have to to, to to get better, to get more confidence out of these things. It's all okay, but this game on, on Tuesday, of course, was this kind of. Little, little, or a rather massive knock, which were not expected. And now we have to to react for us in the right way, not only on Sunday, in general. Michael, Jurgen, yeah, how much self-assessment do you allow the players after performances like that, where by your own admission, so many things went went wrong? When you're reviewing those performances, how how much do you allow the players to to give their own individual assessments about? How things can improve along, you know, with yourself and the coaching staff. Do I have influence on that? What do you mean? If they can have a speech in addressing yeah. room? No, they can. There's only one. Actually, there's only one real assessment that counts, and that's mine. Um, and that's why I don't do it directly after a game. So we all we have all our emotions, stuff like that, and um, disappointment is not is not a good. Uh, or frustration is not a good advice or not a good uh, feeling for for an analyze for a, for a meeting with with players. So it's not that I feel better afterwards because I said all the things I have in my mind in that moment. I mean, if I'm if I'm angry or whatever, that doesn't help. So um, a full night and maybe a, a, a morning helps to 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 see the things in the right way. That's in, in, at least in my understanding, so and that's no. The, the, but the players talk to each other, so I'm not then not sit not between them and ask them um, uh, and, and listen to what they say. And during the week, and if I think it makes it's necessary, and if you have enough time, then we can talk about different things. But usually, um, after the meeting, the day after the game, this game is done, and then um, we prepare the next one. And as you're searching for that free flow football. To not really. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it, it, people, everybody is searching for it. But it's not about. It's not this kind of that. I only like. We are here to 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 get results, like all the other teams as well. And that the other thing happens much more. So all the different expectations on different bo on, on boys. It's always the, it's, it is the. We were the Champions League finalists last year, and for the first 25 minutes, where we were the better team in the final, it doesn't help a lot. We all know. But that means that's the last impression. How we went there with all the spectacular. Games and stuff like that, and the other side, we have to start new, and the other teams don't get worse. So that's your. I don't. I don't. Not a little bit moan about the situation. It's great. It's only what you ask me, and that's how I see it. It's a. It's a. That's a difference to the season before, and we really, we are really ambitious. And whatever we can get, we want to. We want to take with all we have. But it's um, that is a, a different situation. The, the, the Champions League finals from last year, new signings. Players settle stuff like that. It's like sounds like automatically you win the Champions League or whatever, and or the league, or you will. Be. But the other teams they don't sleep only because we were in the Champions League final. So that's how it is. They have all they have all um, made all transfers, improved in different ways, and we as well. We as well. We have um, what is it? Twenty-seven points over there. Twenty-seven. Yeah. So I forgot it already. Nice. Um, Twenty-seven points conceded four goals. A lot of a lot of good things um, in it, but. Just we have to, not to be satisfied about it, only to, to see it in, a, in, in the right way, rather positive than, than the other way around. So it's like we win a game and afterwards we have to, we have to say sorry for that we didn't win it in a city way.
So whatever. That's I get that. If we, if we, the, the, we have um, we have space for improvement, but not um, uh, the no 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 reason for any negative view on it. Uh, they have literally prepared for this fixture. Playing tomorrow, playing on Sunday. Does that give you like another bonus and that put in your hands? Do you think? Wow! Can you please say it again? Sorry. Yeah, would be nice. If you're playing tomorrow, uh, you're not playing tomorrow. You have an extra day to prepare. Does that play into your hands? Ex extra day in comparison no, with. Sunday, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. I like that. It's better than um, playing Tuesday, Friday, or whatever. For sure. No, that's good for us. So today we have a normal session. So far we did. We had to do recovery with, with the majority of the squad. But um, um, to, yeah, today and tomorrow we have normal sessions. That always helped us. That's always good. And uh, we can be trained now. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow as well. Round about match time. Uh, 12 o'clock, which is important. The last game was um, 6 o'clock here, 7, 6 o'clock here. And um, so late game, that's how it is. We have to, you want to adapt to the to the situation, biorhythm wise, stuff like that. So that's that's good, yeah. And uh, sorry, that's what, um, you were beating the Premier League, obviously, the Champions League qualification in your hands sometimes. Do you have to tell your players that, like, there's a bit, um, give them a sense of perspective? Like, we do, we, like you said, we started well, and sometimes you have a bad result. Well, that's 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 what kind of perspective we have? A, we have a wonderful perspective, so it's all it's all good from it. But we had a we had a we had a bad game with a inverse result, the last one. So we can, we don't we never ignore that. But it's not allowed that that's the that we didn't get the confidence from the results we had before and the performances we had before. But if we have one bad, then we then we struggle. That doesn't make sense. I think after Na Naples we played City, right? Did we? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, come on. Did we play after Napoli against um, City? You Google that quick, meanwhile. Well, huh? we played here. I you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. So that was it. Was it was it was it was a good game. <laughs> was a good game. So the reaction was right. It's not about we have to show that we are not what we were on on Tuesday or whatever. It's just normal. You don't. You, we don't want to lose football games. If it happens, you always have to show a reaction. That's clear. But we. we and I'm. I sh I'm not in doubt about um, the reaction. It's 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 always a little bit. You, you I think you can really feel it a little bit. It's 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 a very positive situation. If you would have had the same situation two years ago, then people would have said it's brilliant. It's whatever, and it's exactly like it should be. But the, all, and it's no problem that people compare. It's for us, more important that we don't do it. That we that we have uh, we, we had the discussion here. Everybody asked me is, is Mo Salah in the same shape about like last year, and I, I didn't know the numbers he had until October. And then somebody told me yeah, he scored actually more than last year until October. But nobody felt it. it was like yeah, but he should have scored already 20. So that's the situation a little bit. That's what we all have in all different departments on the pitch. It's like Sadio Mane has six goals, but is he, does he play the, the the best season of his of his life so far? That's all the questions. It's not important. So in the moment they all scored off enough to bring us 27 points. So that's it. And we defended good enough to have these points. And we, we created enough, or we create much more, of course, than we, than we actually used. That's, that's the situation. So it's nothing, it's only kind of, not really an analyze, it's more, that's how the, these are the facts. So you know it all better. You, you start pretty early then asking about, is it the same than last year? Is it this? Is it that? So we, for us, it's not too important what, what happened last year. For the people, it's very important because they, um, um, their expectations are because of the last year and, of course, because of the squad and the signings and the start and all that stuff. Well, we, have to, we have to use that, not the other way around. Yeah, we're going to have to write up David. Yeah, yeah. This statistic was in the last couple of weeks ago, but probably relevant now back at Anfield this weekend. Are you aware that you hadn't won a Premier League penalty at home in over a year now? No. What, what do you think about that, considering that obviously you're a team who spends a lot of time in the opposition box? It's just a weird <laughs> quirk, really. So let's take the Arsenal game. So it's not about a penalty at home. It's what, yeah, you know, in the beginning of the season, maybe in two, one, two situations, we, I'm not sure we were a bit lucky with ref decisions. I'm not sure if it was anybody told me afterwards about Huddersfield uh, penalty, possible penalty with James Milner handball, didn't watch it back. But for example, the Arsenal game and the game um, with 
who we played before Arsenal. Uh, Cardiff. The goal Cardiff scored was offside. So, what everybody said after the game, nobody asked me directly after the game, I'm not sure if it's too quick or whatever. It was offside, or you can say it's not too important, but in the game, it changed, it changed a few things. So, we said afterwards in a positive way because then they had the, at Arsenal, we scored a clear goal. <laughs> and I have to say afterwards, the only, the only headline we can find them probably, I don't know exactly, but Klopp says it was a clear goal. But who is who is interested what I say? It's about it is a clear goal. So things like that. Then there were two penalty situations. So, and with the goalkeeper, so, and then a referee said, yeah, this one was a penalty and the other one not. So penalty for us. Now we talk about a situation, we would have won there 3-1. So and now all these games at home, we didn't drop a lot of points in home games in the last year, but of course it changed everything. If you go in the box, you are right. So it's not that it's nobody to blame for or whatever. I think so. It's just we have to we have to go in the box. We cannot do more. And and if we can shoot, we should shoot. And if somebody makes a foul on us, then we should. Then it's normal that you go down. So we are. Um, this that's the situation. But I cannot. I don't think that there's any agreement between everyone to say okay, at Anfield penalties uh, don't fit. So we want, don't want to see them there. So that's that's it.